Hello and welcome to another episode of the MSPFE video blog. I'm Tamer Mayer, I'm a SharePoint PFE, and I'm joined here today by none other than the Link Master, Doug Dietrich. Doug? Thank you, Tamer. Um, I am Doug Dietrich. I'm an OCS and Link PFE, as well as an OCS and Link Master um, here in the DC area. Welcome, Doug. Um, actually, Doug and I are actually here on the road in uh, Washington, DC uh, metro area delivering uh, both the SharePoint 2013 Ignite training and Doug is teaching the Link 2013 Ignite training. So I figured this would be a great opportunity for Doug and I to connect um, to talk about some of the new exciting features of um, Link 2013. So Doug, what can you tell us about the new improved capabilities of Link 2013 when it comes to conferencing? Sure, so one of the big asks from folks um, in previous versions of the client was the ability to edit the meeting invite. Okay. So now in Link 2013, we give you the ability to actually add things like a, a corporate logo or to add footer text to the bottom of the, the invite, as well as the ability to add um, a link for help URL, as well as uh, legal text as well. Oh, that's great. Um, I have to ask you, um, what improvements can you tell us about um, video in Link 2013? Yep. So. Um, one of the big improvements is the ability to do HD video okay. inside of a conference as well as the continued ability to do HD video inside of a peer-to-peer -peer session. And I heard there's a new feature called multi-viewing. How does that work? Yep, so we now allow up to five simultaneous video streams um, okay. inside of a, a video conference. Okay. Yep, so essentially it's five active speakers um, that will display the video for in what we call the standing row. Everybody else will display their photo if they have one available in what is called the sitting row. That's awesome. So how does the, the multi-viewing work? Uh, is it the active speaker's video feed that comes to the foreground and then everybody else aligns behind it? or Right. It work? So it's essentially the last five active speakers okay. um, is what you'll see in the standing row. Okay. But you have the ability to pin um, anybody that you want to okay. that um, standing row. That's awesome. Um, I remember also in previous versions of Link, um, if you didn't have the full-fledged Link client, you had to download a plugin on your client side uh, before you can participate in the meeting. What improvements or how has that changed from previous versions? Sure. So that was the Link attendee client from previous versions. Um, that attendee client has essentially gone away and okay. it's been replaced by the Link web app. Okay. So the Link web app has become more full featured okay. um, in that it now supports the ability for users to participate in audio and video as well as to continue uh, to do desktop sharing and PowerPoint viewing. Oh wow, and it's all browser-based? It is all browser-based, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so with that, I know from delivering the, the SharePoint IT Pro Ignite training, um, Office Web Apps has become its own product at this point and we've incorporated features um, of Link. What can you tell us about that? Sure, so the Office Web App Server is something that we also talk about in the Link Ignite training. Um, for the Link administrators, it's going to be an important role because it will be required if they're going to do conferencing with inside the Link environment. Okay. So, yep, so we take advantage of the Office Web App Server's PowerPoint streaming capabilities, um, and that's what we use for PowerPoint sharing now inside of Link. And of course, we cannot talk about Link and not mention IAM. What improvements do we have in that space? Exactly. So, uh, one of the biggest improvements in the IAM space is going to be Tab Chat okay. and the ability for users to now have a single window um, with all of their IAM conversations listed. So, you can actually just switch back and forth between the different conversations in a single window. Exactly. No That's more it. hunting for um, which window is do you want to have this conversation in. That's awesome. That's absolutely fantastic. Um, and then you know, to, just to wrap up our session, I wanted to ask you about uh, the improvements in Enterprise Voice. Sure. So there's many, many improvements um, in Enterprise Voice in Link 2013. Um, just a couple to highlight real quick um, is the ability for Link to now have multiple trunks um, to a single gateway. Okay. And as well for Link to be able to do some basic session management now. That's wonderful. Doug, I cannot thank you enough. I know you're quite busy, um, but really appreciate the time that you've given us today. And um, I look forward to future recordings with you. Cool. Thanks for having me, Tamar. Thank you very much, Doug. Uh, folks, uh, if you get an opportunity to sign up for one of Doug's uh, Link uh, 2013 uh, Ignite training sessions, do so. I promise you it'll be worthwhile. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.